What's up guys, I'm back in California, Northern California from New Zealand, and I am currently training for the Sean O'Brien 100K. The Western States Lottery is in a couple weeks. I'm gonna have two tickets in it. Um, I've got a couple of friends in it as well. I'm super stoked about the possibility that anybody gets in, um, but the odds are pretty steep. I think there's over 6,000 people in the lottery. So it's unlikely that I will get in, but it could happen. And if not, you know, probably not. I got to get my qualifier for next year. So hopefully that's going to happen at the Sean O'Brien 100K. Um, unfortunately, with respect to training, uh, I keep hurting myself. And there's a couple of reasons for that. I think a big one is that New Zealand trails and the trails here are quite different. Uh, over there, the trails were, they tended to be muddier and rootier and they weren't rocky by any means. Here, the trails are incredibly rocky. Um, I mean, essentially... Uh, beds of, of rock cemented into sort of a, a matrix of other rocks. If you know what volcanoclastic breccia is, that's what it is. But anyway, first I developed a little bit of a hamstring issue, a little bit of hamstring tendonitis maybe, and uh, that bugged me for a couple days. And every now and then I would strain it a little bit, I like a grade one strain, not a big deal. Um, but it was fine, I just had to run a little bit slower and not stride out too much. Um, and then shortly after, I suffered a more acute injury. Um, I was doing a 90 minute run, which was a little bit longer than I had been doing. So it was a medium long run on the trails. And just about 10 minutes from the end, I caught a toe on some of that volcanic elastic breccia. And it was one of those things where between the time you trip and the time you hit the ground, there's maybe a third of a second. I mean, it's almost nothing, but you remember thinking like, this could be bad. So, yeah, took a spill, smacked my knee pretty bad. Um, no stitches, no need for stitches, but I had to take a day off because I couldn't put that much weight on it. Um, but that was it, you know, it was just a mild impact injury. Next day I was back at it. And then yesterday on Sunday, uh, I was going to do my first longer run. Nothing too crazy, but about two and a half hours, which would be about 15 miles. And... Uh, and then I had a bit of a worse injury. Um, again, running uphill, uh, I kicked a rock and started to go forward. And in catching myself for that, I pretty badly strained my hamstring uh, to the point where I was in a lot of pain walking yesterday. Um, and it seems to be getting better, but slowly. So that's what's happening now. And unfortunately, when I did that, I was about uh, four miles from, in fact, I was about five miles from my car. I called my dad to bail me out a little bit early so I didn't have to walk all the way back. He did, but it still took me an hour and a half to walk from where I fell, you know, off the trail. So yeah, I have some video from that. So I'll just cut over to myself do, talking about what happened. What happened? Well, I stumbled in a way. It was kind of hurting to begin with. Like it hurt a little bit more than it had been when I started, but it was all right. I just kept it slow. And then I think at one point going uphill, I like kicked something and lunged out like that to not fall. And I still did hit this, this leg on the ground a little bit, but it wasn't terrible. But it was the trying to catch myself and I pulled it pretty bad and hit the dirt but it's all right i can walk you know happened in the worst possible spot though because i was literally probably 300 meters from the end of north rim i mean it's so funny you can't really get that much further away from <laughs> yeah, my car <laughs> that sucks yeah but that's all right i right, take a couple days off i think because this is this is a problem yeah yeah so at this exact moment in time, there is no chance of me running. Um, I'm just focused on recovering from that and then I'll get back to training. So just doing some research on what it's going to take to be healthy and hopefully stop this from happening again. But who knows? And, you know, in any training cycle, you have to factor in, you know, a small percentage of running and training that is spent recovering from injuries or any of those little things. So I'm still working on it. 
and appreciate the long break, uh, just transitioning back from New Zealand to here and trying to figure out what my goals are. Um, but they are very much Sean O'Brien, uh, which is a challenging race. I'll talk about it more in the future, but that's pretty much it. So wish me luck on recovering from these darn injuries and um, could be a lot worse. So that's all good. All right. Thanks, guys.